I left Eritrea for a political asylum. I was a first year student. We took the route from Franco area to Sudan, and then from Sudan to Libya, and then to Italy. I applied for relocation because it gives me more human rights. I didn't find any problem. It was very easy and they were very helpful. From Libya to Italy, the trip was very dangerous. The smugglers literally pushed us into the boat without any consideration for us as human beings. I will never deal with these smugglers again, not at all. If I had to give an advice to my family members and friends who are thinking of crossing over to Europe, I would encourage them not to deal with these smugglers, with those criminals, and not to put their life in danger. The asylum center in Malta provided us with everything we needed. The healthcare is provided. I have now found a job even. I work as a cleaner. At the center they help us in preparing for the job by um, organizing our CV. I would like to continue with my studies, especially in field which can help me find another job. However, at this point it might not be that easy for me. I believe I made the right choice. At the end, relocation is the better option for me. I am now learning English at the center as we, le as we have lessons twice a week. I am slowly integrating in the Maltese society. I recommend to my family and friends to apply for the relocation program as it is indeed safe and legal. Okay, so we've been um, involved in this exercise for over a year now. Um, I'm happy to report that, that Malta as a country are, are at the forefront of, of, of this initiative. Uh, we have um, exceeded half of our quota. Um, the experience is, is, is um, uh, what it is. I mean, people come here, we, um, uh, we welcome them into our uh, initial reception center here, and then it depends on, on whether they are family units, um, single mothers, unaccompanied minors, children, then they are, they are, they are um, allocated to the, the various open centers according to their status. Well, as I said, we are the um, agency for the welfare of asylum seekers, so primarily we are concerned with their welfare. We focus on um, uh, pre-integration uh, activities, so we look at um, uh, schooling, education, work, um, uh, and preparing them to, to, to be integrated into the Maltese society. Okay, so, so what we do is we, 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 we carry out a sort of gap analysis. We look at, 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 at what we have and where do we want to take these people to. So um, uh, we focus mainly on English lessons, Maltese culture, education, um, helping them find jobs, helping them um, prepare their CVs, engaging with, with prospective employers, that sort of, 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 of activities. We do carry out a post, uh, a post um, uh, uh, activity review. We look at uh, where they've been, they're, they're located now. Um, each and every um, uh, resident family unit are allocated a social worker or a, or a welfare officer who looks into the, the progress uh, of, 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 let's say, the integration journey. Mm -hmm.